good thing that Gator wasn't out again Saturday. Ricky Fowler doing whatever it takes to save par and doink. Plenty of excitement from him on Saturday. Fowler in bright colors Arnie would approve of on Saturday at the Arnold Palmer Invitational. And it was brighter and warmer in Orlando. Many took advantage of the nicer conditions and we had a lot of movement on moving day. Ricky and Rory getting in on the action with the low rounds of the tournament. You liked Ricky's shot out of the water on 11? Well, Rory didn't get anywhere near it. Oh, inside five feet. Then followed it up with his third birdie in a row on his squeaky clean scorecard with this 19-footer on 12. But Fowler rolled one from further out on 15, a 29-footer. He had more than 120 feet of putt Saturday and added to that total with an eagle one hole later. Ricky nearly set a back nine record and carted a 30 on his inward nine, but as you can see here, it was quite an adventure for the recent Honda Classic winner as he started things off with a double bogey on three, but then never looked back. Oh, how quickly things can flip. Kevin Kisner looked nice and comfortable taking the lead. Pin flags everywhere. Watch out. Did that flick the flag? I might have cut the claw. Almost sounded like it just nicked the flag. But 36-hole leader Charlie Hoffman took a share of the lead right back at the very end of the day with this monster putt from 71 feet out. That one almost makes this impressive 45-footer from Florida boy Billy Horschel look short. Horschel carded an impressive round of 67. Someone else has shot a 67? 25-year-old Englishman Terrell Hatton making a name for himself recently and drilling it home on 18-2. Nine players are within five shots of the lead as we head into the final round. Who will take home Arnie's signature red cardigan? Find out by tuning into PGA Tour Live starting at 10 a.m. Eastern Time on Sunday. I'll see you then and again on Monday for Trending on Tour.